Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we will be working with epoxy on this small tumbler. A lot of you guys asked what I do with the leftover glitter that I just toss in my baggie. So that's the glitter we're going to use today. I'm really excited to show you that mixing the glitter and saving that makes some really pretty cups. I'll be using the Loctite method where I'm just going to spray this on the tumbler and then apply my glitter. Anytime I mix two different glitters for the ombre effects, I don't pour that back into the original jar, obviously because it's mixed and it's like contaminated. So I mix them all into just one baggie and then when I have a lot of glitter, I make a cup with that. So this literally has every color you can think of in it. There's white, there's black, there's neon pinks, neon greens, yellows, orange, dark purple, light purple, neon purple. Just about every color you've seen me use is mixed in this bag. That's just a close-up of it. You can see some of the different colors in there. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle on some of the edges where I'm noticing some bare spots just to make sure the glitter is sticking everywhere. And because I had that nice coat of that purple underneath and that was the original color of the tumbler, I don't feel like I need a second coat. I think it did pretty well. So we'll go ahead and let this dry for about 30 minutes. So I was happy with the one coat of glitter, so we'll keep it at that. I'm going to go ahead and put some triple thick over that and let it dry for another 30 minutes. So now I have my epoxy ready and I'm just going to be using this silicone brush to brush on that epoxy. You can find these on Amazon. The link is down in my description box. I'm using the Michaels Spin It Spinner, which I will have a link to my review video down in the description box for you as well. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the epoxy all over the cup. Anywhere there is glitter, we're going to put epoxy, so all the way up to the rim and make sure you get the bottom of the cup as well. Make sure you read the directions for your epoxy. This one is a one to one ratio, so I do equal amounts of both. There are some that are two to one and even some that are three to one. So make sure you read the directions well before using them. Do wear a respirator. Even though if you don't smell anything, it can still be harmful for you. And try to be in a well ventilated room. I decided to toss some chunky glitter on there and some bling glitter just to give it a little extra pizzazz while that epoxy was wet so that it'll adhere to that. I noticed a few air bubbles so I'm going to go and hit that with my heat gun just to pop those. Then we're just going to let this sit and spin for four to six hours until it's dry. Once it's dry, you can stop it from spinning and let it set for 24 hours before working on it again. All right, so I lost the bit of film where I put the vinyl on, but it's the same as any other video that I do. Now I'm just going ahead and make more epoxy and we're going to layer that on top of this just to make sure that vinyl is nice and sealed in there. And you'll just want to cover the whole thing again, top to bottom. And this just ensures that the vinyl isn't going to come off. It's going to be cast inside that epoxy that we're layering on now. 
And again, you'll just let that spin for four to six hours and let it dry for a full 24, and then you'll have your finished product. If you feel any rough spots or bumps, you can hit that with a sander and then just put another layer of epoxy on. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Share it if you want to, that always helps me out. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!